Hey everyone, my name is Emma Grace and today I'm going to be doing the Books Pick My Makeup Challenge or tag. Essentially this challenge was created by I believe Tashopolis so I'll be linking her tag slash challenge down below it'll be there and I believe this was originally created when she got like sent a package with makeup and then she went to the bookstore and picked out a book that went with the makeup but seeing as I'm not on PR list so I was very excited when I found out that there was like a new bookish makeup challenge coming into town into book two because I have been just like the biggest fan of makeup recently I don't know what it is I've just been buying so much of it and if I'm looking down it's because I have like this lovely setup of a table with all of my makeup the beauty tube the beauty tubers the beauty tubers the beauty gurus are just gonna be like quaking if they ever saw this setup can you guys like it's all in order of what I'm gonna do my makeup like. So the way I did it was I looked up YA books. Then this like article for YA like a feminist books came up and I was like, okay, we're off to a great start. And the book that, the first book that I saw was The Upside of Unrequited. And I figured there was some things that I could do with this. What I'm planning to do with this is a blue eyeshadow and then some white eyeshadow as well for the inner corner or the lid, haven't decided yet. And then black for the liner and and then a red lipstick. Take a moment, say your goodbyes to this makeup. I'm just gonna take off this makeup. I didn't wear eyeliner today because I actually hate taking off makeup only to put on more makeup. Um, so I didn't wear eyeliner today so it wouldn't be as heavy, but like this is gonna be rough, so let's just go for it. Oh, I need this. Also, I'm gonna be doing my makeup. Sorry, I look like really weird right now. I'm gonna be doing my makeup in the viewfinder, so. Yeah, if it turns out bad, I'm sorry, it's not my fault. I just don't have one of those fancy mirrors that all the beauty gurus have. Now I can take a sip of my tea, or my iced tea, because my makeup's all off. It's fine, everything's fine. All right, so first we have to start from scratch because I just took off my whole face of makeup. Um, we're already six minutes into filming because I just took like three minutes taking off all my makeup. <laughs> first I'm gonna use some primer. That was terrible, I'm sorry. Primer is like one of those things that I was like, I am really honestly don't need any primer. And then, oh, it's just coming out. I should have been more careful. I've been watching what my thing was doing instead of just like talking. But that's the point of this video, so I'm confused. I was like, I really don't need primer. <laughs> like, it's not gonna do anything. And then I put it on one time and I saw how much it smoothed out my pores and it was amazing. And I was like, okay, I do need primer. And it keeps on your makeup nice. Like, it's not essential, but it is really just something that's great to have so your makeup not just like melt off your face okay I forgot to put my hair up that was actually the first step so we're gonna do that right now and we're gonna be looking even more rough because no makeup and hair up it's just like my not good state <laughs> I really hate wearing my hair up so next I have my foundation here I'm gonna put this away I'm gonna clean up as I go through this so everything's fine and everything turns out great so next i have this foundation this is the maybelline fit me foundation i'm thinking of upgrading soon because i'm almost out of this one and i want a good foundation so what i like to do oh shoot there's still lipstick on my hand okay so what i like to do with this is just pour it out on my hand i know like the beauty gurus have like a special little tray that they pour it out on but like what happens to me is i pour it out on my hand then I use it and then I realize I have a bunch of foundation on my hand halfway through first period of school and I have to rub it into my skin. So yeah. So I only like to use like that much even though this is pretty light coverage because I'm not like a full coverage kind of person, you know. So I just take my beauty blender or beauty sponge, I guess, because it's off-brand, you know. And I just like to put a bunch of foundation. Don't listen to what I'm saying. This isn't a tutorial. Like, I actually have no idea how to do makeup. <laughs> And then what you gotta do is you just gotta blend it in and I'm using the viewfinder, which is really far away from me, so it's not the best, but we'll make it work. What can I talk about? I'm trying to think about something that like is interesting, but I honestly don't know. Um, my current read is Lee Miz in like the 1200 page book because uh, it's big and I'm actually two books behind on my current grade school, so it was a great idea to start reading a book that I knew would take me a lot of time to read, but I'm essentially reading it because I'm reading it in school, but in school we read the condensed version because it's the condensed version. It just takes shorter and it's in French, like it's actually in French, which is a lot. 
to read. So I'm currently just reading the real version, which will hopefully, in English by the way, I'm reading the real version in English because even though I speak French, it would be really hard. So I'm reading the real version in English because I really just want to know everything I can about the book because when I, sorry, I keep looking at my iced tea because I really want to take a sip, but then I remember I can't drink and talk at the same time, so I don't. So I just, I lost my train of thought. So basically, I just wanted to read it because I was really curious about what the actual story was, as well as like, you know, if we do, it's really helped with my understanding of the story and my understanding of the characters and themes and symbols, so that's great. So next I'm doing concealer. Concealer is like my saving grace for everyday life, just brings me, you know, back to life. I can just cover up that and cover up that I have no idea what I'm doing because I'm way too far behind in the viewfinder like <sighs> clean up as I go. <laughs> so next I'm gonna use this little section here for my under eyes. So uh, this is gonna be like rough. I need to get closer, I'm sorry. So yeah, I'm running like this right now and it's a long book. It's gonna take me a while. I just finished Ace of Shades which was so good, 10 out of 10 would recommend. It was my favorite book of 2018. So far, it was so action-packed. I just found out it's a trilogy the other day and I spent so long thinking it was a duology. So I was so excited when I found out that there were three books in this series, but that does mean that the last book is coming out in 2020 and I have to wait for two more books. This is my fancy brush roll, brush roll. This is my fancy brush roll because I I'm a professional makeup artist and yeah this was actually on sale when I got it like on boxing day sale so I got this it was like retail like $20 and then I got it for $34 plus shipping and tax so this was 36 brushes $34 a steal set my face does this look like really bad I honestly can't see this may go wrong <laughs> Ooh, mm -mm. I'm really struggling so this is my powder I use the Maybelline fit me powder I use the Maybelline fit me everything for my face just because I like to be you know what's the word consistent this is my powder this is another thing I thought was really unnecessary like why do I have to wear foundation and powder and then I wore powder and it locked in my face and made me stay matte which was great and what I like to do is put my brush away and I like to like just take some on my ring finger and set my under eyes like that so now I'm doing eyebrows now if you were like a really big eyebrow person I'm sorry, but I just am not. So, but I still like to do them to fill in like the sparse areas, and I'm actually really happy with my overall like shape of my brows. Like this is, like this is probably with some filled in from like this morning, but I'm gonna obviously refill them in right now. I don't know why that took me so long to say, but I like to take my ooh, that was a just I hated that noise. I like to take this lovely palette here that I never ever use anymore. And I like to take, where is my brush, this brush, not even an angled brush, like this brush, and I like to take the shade Malted for me, because that's like the shade that's closest to my eyebrows, and I just like to film in, oh, we're gonna have to get like closer for this, I don't even, oh, this is gonna go bad. Alright, I'm gonna have to use the mirror in the palette for this, because I messed up, oh my god, I'm looking at my skin now, and it looks so cakey, I don't know what I did with my foundation, but it looks so much better in the viewfinder. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna use this mirror, I like this mirror better, it's not like obstructed. I think we're good on brows, see that's literally all I do for brows, because I'm not like a huge brow fan. For this, I decided to do blue eyeshadow, so I have some blue eyeshadow here that I just went out today to buy because I did not have any blue eyeshadow, except for like a couple ones that I'm not going to pull out right now. So I bought this. This is the Revlon Photo Ready in the Avant Garde, that was so American the way I just said that, in the Avant Garde, um, that was really French actually, um, palette, so I'm just gonna open this up and see. Like, honestly, I would never buy this palette if I weren't doing this video, because I don't think I'd ever use it. This is why I'm not on PR list. So, this is the palette. You get two little sponge applicators that I probably will not use, and then you get these little shades here. So, hold on, I'm just gonna swatch those, because I have no idea how this is gonna perform. Mm. It's not the worst I've ever used, so we're gonna go ahead with that.
You know what? Maybe instead of doing it in the viewfinder, I should just get that mirror again. <laughs> They're not bad eyeshadows. Like, I was a little worried because I just went to the drugstore to buy these for this makeup look, solely for this makeup look. But it isn't the worst shadow I've ever used from the drugstore because, trust me, I've used some pretty bad eyeshadow from the drugstore. Like, it'll get better, I promise. Okay. That's all blended out, but with. Ooh, shoot. Just almost dropped my actual expensive palettes. So now, because then we've created this mess, I think I'm going to do a cut crease. which I'm probably going to do off camera, but I will come back when I'm done. So I will just do it and then come back, sit tight. <laughs> Alright, so I'm back and I also put on mascara and eyeliner. I said I was going to put on eyeliner, but I just put on mascara too because I figured it would be a lot easier. I think it does look actually better in real life, but worse on camera now that I'm looking at it. But I think what we're going to do now is lipstick and then we're just going to finish off the entire look. This is actually one of my favorite lipsticks. I wore it in last week's video. It's the Kylie Cream Lipsticks and it's in the shade Pomegranate, which is just a, like a very nice true red. So we're going to try and apply this. Thing. So this is the final look and I was actually holding it up next to the look and I think I actually did a pretty good job. I don't think the blue matches perfectly but I think that the overall sense with the red lipstick really completes it and of course the white eyeshadow. I just really enjoy this. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it was like a terrible unorganized. I tried to make it as organized as I could but I'm really not a beauty guru. I don't know how to make these videos and honestly now that I'm looking at it I don't know how the people who are beauty gurus make it look so easy because I tried and it's hard. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.